it's difficult to tell. We are now, you they, have in mind? they are now shortlisting. So to be very naive on my part to stand here and uh, advocate for anyone. But definitely from the way it's looking, it's going to be an expatriate coach. Because if you request for UEFA Pro license, definitely our local coaches haven't got. Oh, people, I don't know where everybody is pointing. No, I'm only asking. To, uh, Milo, do you know that I didn't mention the, the, yeah, there will be the need for us to look at the financial demands of all those who are applying for the job? Somebody may be suitable, but if Milo decides to take something way above our budget, I don't think the FA can support it. We have a budget to run, and whoever will hire to run the affairs of blasters will have to fall within that budget. For you know, financial considerations may take out the, your, 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 your preferred candidate. I don't have one. Another person could be preferred. I have my, my issues with Milo, but the national interest reigns supreme. Come on, let me. Well, the Ghana Football Association has confirmed the new coach for the Black Stars won't be appointed by the end of the week, as earlier communicated. It's likely that will be done in November. Ghana Football Association Executive Committee member Fred Papo has confirmed that an interim coach will take charge of next month's 2015 Afghan qualifiers against Guinea. Rumors are rife that assistant coach Maxwell Kunadu will be made to take charge for the back-to-back -back Group E matches against the Sali National. The Federation is hunting for a new coach after parting ways with Chrissy Appiah two weeks ago. A total of 28, including Serbian Milovan Rajvac and ex Ghana striker Kim Grant, have applied, but no indigenous Ghanaian coach forwarded his CV. Papo, who is a member of the Freeman Search Committee, says the Ghana FA is in no rush. The FA say they are working to announce an interim coach who should supervise the game against Guinea next month. Ghana will take on Guinea on the 10th October with the venue of the game yet to be decided and the return leg played in Accra four days later.